Welcome to an introduction and basic overview of the CraftBot XL 3D printer. The CraftBot XL features a high speed 50 to 200 mm per second print speed and a large 30 by 20 by 44 centimeter build volume or approximately 12 by 8 by 17 inches. CraftBot XL is capable of printing PLA, ABS, PETG, TPU, or any number of exotic filaments. However, we will only supply you with PLA. To begin printing a part, first you will need an STL file. This can be downloaded from Thingiverse or created by your own software preference. Once your part is inserted, click the slice tool to open up the slicing menu. Now this menu is very complex and has many settings, but there is follow-on training available to learn more about it. Once you have your desired settings, click the slice button and the software will render how the 3D printer will print. Of important notice on this screen is the print time and the amount of material used in the top right corner. Once you are sure your model is complete, click save and save the file to the flash drive for the printer. When loading filament into the printer, always ensure that the nozzle is fully heated to prevent clogging. Feed the filament through the guide tube until it pops out of the other end. Next, gently press the filament into the extruder hole until the filament touches the extruder gear. Next, press the load button and the machine will begin to extrude the new filament in, purging out any old filament. Next, wipe the bed with an isopropyl alcohol to remove any dust or skin oils preventing proper adhesion. Be extremely careful as the bed and the nozzle are both hot enough to potentially burn you. Insert the USB drive and from the menu select USB print and then print your file. From this point, the 3D printer will begin to print your file. Keep in mind that in the makerspace, you must maintain contact with your printer to keep an eye on it and ensure that nothing goes wrong. There is a four hour limit on prints, with exceptions allowed for appointments and special projects. Contact your lab techs or any makerspace representative to figure out how to make an appointment. Now it's time to remove your creation. From the main menu, select Axes, and then select the four points arrow, and then select Z plus. This will lower the bed. Remove the bed using the two white thumb screws on the corners of the bed, and simply pull the bed to you. Once sufficiently cooled, the part should simply pop off the bed. You may have to apply a little bit of force, but the part should remove fairly easily. If the part is stuck, do not use any metal object to try and scrape it off, and simply ask your lab techs for help. 